Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of looking at traditional projects and uh, kind of following from the bird theme we did yesterday. Um, we're going to make another bird, it's like a swan, and the nice thing is that she stands up pretty and then her like back feather area kind of poofs out and you can use it as a like serving dish if you wanted to for candies and goodies, uh, especially as we look at the next holiday ahead of us, which would be Easter for some people. Um, that's always a good time, whether, you know, you dig Easter or not, I think everybody's excited about spring and stuff like that too. So lots of reasons for this kind of a decorative addition to your table. Uh, this particular origami is just a regular old uh, pure origami with a square piece of paper. I'm using a traditional size, which is 15 by 15 centimeters. I'll let you guys know the dimensions of the swan when we're finished. So I'm gonna just start off here um, making a fish base. Um, so we're going to start off with our color side facing down. I'm just going to go ahead and put my uh, diagonal creases in my paper so I know where the centers are. And there's a lot of ways to get to the fish base. If you have another way, that's totally fine too. But I'm just going to go ahead and do those two creases and then take this outer edge and fold it into the center. Smooth out that edge. Ooh, that didn't sound good, did it? There we go. And then we'll do the other side too. Once you've got both of those folded in to look like a kite, we're going to flip it over and I'm going to reverse that crease that I've got already going there by just folding everything up so that I bring the tip all the way up to the top. Fold it in half here. Flip it over again. And then we're just going to use these pockets that you see here to kind of open up and extend out. Now the bottom part's crease is already completed. I just need to extend this part out now all the way up to the top. Try to keep things as straight and smooth as you can. And we'll just get it all smoothed out here on the side. And then we'll do the same thing on this side too, popping out that side and smoothing out up to the tip. Keep everything as flat as you can. So that's kind of a completed fish base there. Now what we want to do is have it facing so that we have these two flaps facing to the right and these two little flaps here on the left side. I'm going to take both layers, treat them as one, and fold them over. And I want to kind of hit, if you look at this and you can kind of see the edge hiding underneath here, I want to hit the middle of this triangle that you kind of see on the side. Um, if you want to be really strict about it, you could kind of fold this over and create a little pinch so that you know how far to fold over. Or you can just eyeball it, it's not that serious. So we're just going to kind of fold it over here to that point, keeping that edge lined up with the center line that we've got going. Then I'm going to take everything and fold it back out. And essentially I'm going to fold about a third of the way. So you can kind of guess and see if you're doing this about right. And imagine that the part you folded over should be about equal to what remains. So I'll kind of get that part folded over. Then I'm going to fold everything in half. And that can be a little tricky because there's a lot of paper here with this beak area that we're working with especially. Just take care not to kind of make it too weird. And then I'm going to take the head part, and if you just kind of pinch on the whole thing and pop it out, we can then pull, I think you guys can't see here, if I pull this up, then you can extend it out to create the head. And we want to just kind of do this straight up so that we get a nice right angle right back here. So find that nice point there and smoosh it out. Then we're going to make the head and extend out to create a nicer little beak in that part. You can kind of choose you know, what angle you want, but once we find a good angle for that, we're just going to smoosh it down so that we have the nice kind of body of our swan. Now I'm going to make this a stand by taking the point that you see down here and folding it up so that I kind of create a flat angle here with the creased edge that I've made here and this side kind of creating a right angle so that you know it's going to stand up straight. I'll do the same thing on this side too. And those little flaps that I've just made are going to kind of serve as feet. Now after getting those uh, little flaps folded up too, then you can kind of look back here and we've got nice big little pocket area here 
and a nice little big pocket here on the other side as well. That's where you can then put little goodies inside uh, for a decoration, uh, for a wedding, baby showers, uh, those kinds of things too. You can. There's a lot of ways you can use this to create a nice little stand for a swan decoration. I'll tell you guys the dimensions of our finished swan here. It stands about seven and a half centimeters tall. It's about half the size of your paper. Like it when it's nice and easy like that, right? And from tail to beak, we're looking at about nine centimeters. Wide, I guess is what we'd say. <laughs> and uh, that kind of gives you an idea of the space that you've got for our little finished swan. And that is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.